Sukune of Rice and Ruin Divine Edition. And this actually just arrived today. And uh, this game is like a simulator plus an action adventure game, which is kind of pretty unique. Now, I literally just got my copy of the game today, so I didn't really do an unboxing of it. But Joel did an unboxing of it about a year ago and uh, shows a lot of good stuff that comes with the package. I got my copy for, I think it was on sale for $35 shipped uh, off of Amazon. So I went ahead and grabbed that. But anyways, guys, uh, we're going to check out some gameplay real fast, and then we'll come back with the closing. You're telling me to go out and hunt? As long as the demons rule this island, foraging is too great a burden for the humans alone. Your divinity dictates that you must be the one to act, my princess. never find this place. Princess, this is no time for a royal nap. All right, fine. Goddess, should we plant something in this field? I have some rice husks right here. We plant rice. Sakuna grows strong, yes? For this meal. So, Lady Sakura, what should we do now? Here's Charles of Mana remake. So, this is the third game in the Secret of Mana series, and the second game, which was Secret of Mana, they remade that. And I thought it was a pretty good remake. Some people were iffy about it, but I thought it was pretty good. But this one, like, really blows that one out of the water. This is an outstanding game. And pretty much when you start the game, you can start with three characters. Your main character and two other ones. Now, they eventually all meet up at a certain time. So you just kind of, like, pick the ones that are going to, like, go on the adventure together. The game starts out... Each character has a different way they start the game out. Some experiences will be dramatic, some characters will be betrayed, or some characters just have a coming of age story. So it's really unique to the character you choose. I feel like this game will pull you in even more so than Secret of Mana. So if you see this one out there, I would say definitely give it a chance. It's very unique. Unfortunately though, it's not two players from what I'm, I've seen. I have the, the original game is actually two to three players. Uh, this one, single player only. But hey, maybe that'll enhance the experience. Be careful! Too bad. Okay! Not too bad, if I do say so myself. Alright, so next up is Crossing Souls. Now, some of you guys may remember I played this on a live stream back in the day. I was playing a long time, but I remember my uh, I got suspended and uh, I couldn't live stream for a minute. So, I kind of fell off from playing the game. But I got back into it again and the game is amazing. I think a lot of people will enjoy it, especially if you like action RPGs. Now, I have to warn you guys, I don't want to go too much into the story, but the title kind of lets, kind of like reveals it itself, you know. Um, there's some moments in the game that are pretty sad, so just prepare yourself. But other than that, you know, it's a great story, good action RPG, and I think a lot of people can get into it. Now, just a little bit about the gameplay. It's really cool because you can switch between characters at a whim, pretty much. So each character plays differently. Um, and it, some have a dash move to kind of dash away from the enemy. Some have a defensive move. You know, you'll figure it out as you play it. But if you want something cool and new to try that's kind of reminiscent of old school action RPGs, uh, definitely give this one a go. Alright, so here we have Trinity Trigger. 
Now, I am happy to report that this is an RPG game, an action RPG game that gets right to it. There's no dragging a story around or anything like that. The game introduces you to the characters, and pretty much the game just starts from there. You know, it doesn't take long to get into it, which is a great thing. Now, I don't want to tell you too much about the story. I'm not that far myself, but I do want to kind of give you a little intro to it. You're a character named Cyan, and Cyan has a certain ability that someone doesn't like, and they are after him. They are trying to kill him, so... Um, you're trying to protect Cyan from those individuals, pretty much, and I'll just leave it at that. Now, Cyan is the main character, but he'll meet another character named Elise, and she's trying to help him. So, uh, they are the first two characters that I have right now. I know there's another character I'm supposed to get, but just a little intro to those characters, I want to say. But the action in the game is actually really funny. It actually reminded me of a little bit of Zelda, how you go to the altars, pretty much, and you're kind of like just, uh, I would say, gaining your new abilities, pretty much. Uh, when you go to the first altar, you get this... Um, I guess they're, they're called triggers, and they have certain abilities that help you enhance your combat. Now, so far, I'm having a great time with the game. You know, it's really compelling, and it really, I would say, pulls you in. It seems to have an interesting story so far. You know, hopefully it doesn't fall off later in the game, but, you know, usually, at least with the games I've been playing as of late, you know, when it comes to action RPGs, when the story starts off strong, it actually, you know, stays that way, pretty much, from what I've played. Anyways, guys, I'm curious to know what you guys think about this game. You know, this came out of nowhere for me, so I'm really looking forward to finishing this game pretty soon here. Here I go. There. Here. Got you. Here. There. Yeah. Here, bullseye! Uh, yeah. There! This will come in handy. This will come in handy. Yeah! Yeah! Ta! Yeah! Ta. Yeah! Got you! Ta. Bullseye! Ta. Got you! This will come in handy. Alright, so here is CrossCode. Now, I remember watching this game's development when it was coming out for PC, and I was really excited for it. Uh, this is a 16-bit looking game, and I know I'll, there's a lot of games out there that go with the nostalgia of the old school, trying to make it look like, like old school games to kind of entice people to, to try them out. And a lot of those games are pretty lame, but this one is not one of those games. This one just about immediately sucked me in. Well, I say just about because after, after a little bit of the intro, you have to go through a training part of the game where you're learning the mechanics pretty much. That stated, overstayed his welcome just a little bit, but once that was over, this game got going really fast. Now, I'm not going to go over the story, of course, but the game's uh, gameplay, like the mechanics, which are how your character attacks people, insanely good. You have your action slashes, you have your uh, aiming attacks, which will help you with puzzles too, and you have your super attacks as well. And a couple other things that I'll leave to a surprise for you guys, but... Definitely, guys, a must-have game in your collection. If you like action RPGs and you like a great story, look no further than CrossCode. Here's Yudin Chronicle Rising. Now, I thought I should mention this game because this is a game that was created by the original creators of the Sui Koden series, or Sui Koden series, whatever you guys are calling it these days. But this is the first game in a new series they created, and um, this is a side-scrolling RPG where you get to use, where you switch between three characters, uh, mainly through the story. And I think it's something that people will like, especially leading into their newer game, it's not out yet, 100 Heroes, I think, or 100, I can't remember what it's called, I'm sorry. But um, anyways, if you're a fan of the Sukoden or Sui Koden series, it's definitely, you want to try this one out. I'm about halfway through this game, and I 
I'm having a good time. So I feel like this is definitely one that deserves to be on this list. And I think it will pull you guys in. Because I feel bad that a lot of people... Well, a lot of people did get into the original Coden series, Sui Coden series. But the games themselves, well, hopefully that will change with this series. So definitely check this one out, guys.